Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pretty Eyes, aka also Janae. Today's video, uh, we're going to do how to manifest or how to create a vision board. And if you're new here, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see all of my uploads. I upload every Sunday now. If you hear my babies in the back, I'm sorry, I'm a mommy at the end of the day, okay? So you guys are just gonna come with me. You're gonna see exactly what I do or how I do it. It's gonna be a nice, quick, and easy video. So if you are interested, go ahead and stay tuned. So right here, what I am doing currently at this time is I'm really taking the time to like really look at all of the products that I have bought. Um, I got these at Michaels, so uh, these were pretty much like forty dollars. But then I went down the street and then I looked at some other stuff, and they cost like fifty cents and whatnot start getting your candles and stuff together start getting all of you, everything together ready start creating a mood for how you want your vision to come about so this is actually a good time to really just like take a look at everything like the colors you want to put on your vision board i got again i got this at michael's i got that board for like two dollars and fifty cents you can actually get stuff that is similar for like 50 cents to a dollar 50 at the dollar tree family dollar wherever it is cheap those are the places that you can actually get cheaper things and what i'm doing right here right now is i'm currently just looking at um well actually technically what i am doing is i am looking at what will go good with the theme of purple so i was just looking at like my quotes and everything else like that so that's exactly what i'm doing here and i'm just like really just rearranging and using like a glue stick instead of like elmer's glue i felt like the glue stick was better fit for what i was used to so yeah now i also like to add that you can actually get like 60 pictures for like 20 dollars at Optix max by the way so this is my vision board so i decided to do this uh, in 2024 even though we're heading in 2023 I want to give myself two years and I do this with a lot of my vision boards and the only reason why is because I want to give myself time uh, for like I guess development reasons I guess you can say I'm very much on a spiritual journey as normal um, I've been doing this for like maybe three four years I'm just now coming out of my shell and I also used to have a tarot channel on here but I decided to delete that because I just I I don't like people too much okay but I like you guys for those who are watching. So, <laughs> and who are subscribed. Matter of fact, subscribe right now before we get all into this, okay? As you can see here, this is a picture of uh, J. Cole and Ho. These are things that I want to manifest in 2024 um i'm already working on some music and everything like that i'm working on my own artistry development i still want to be able to develop as an artist under them so i really want to be a part of the dreamville um artist roster that has been a dream of mine for years including rock nation i also uh want to be on the voice i'm really again working on my voice i'm working on breathing techniques and all this other stuff so this is really like what i want to achieve in 2020 and i also want to have my own apartment i can't say exactly where because people uh have evil eye out on me and yeah i want to like not do too much explaining of what I want and these are and also I have um, the artists that I'm inspired by so um, I'm inspired by Whitney, Mariah, Brandy, uh, Rihanna, Aaliyah I'm more inspired like with how some of them carry themselves especially Aaliyah I really love her um, I love the way she carries herself I love the way she um, exudes calming, relaxing energy and how soft-spoken she is. And I kind of want to like um, implement that into how I carry myself as well. I still grow as a person every day. So that's something that's important to me. So again, I'm in a season of discipline. And these are things like, even though it has to be realistic, I still want to put that for my own imaginative reason. I want to have like 10,000 subscribers in 2024 for YouTube. And I feel like that's a big accomplishment because I haven't, again, been consistent. So I'm working on consistency. I want to be, I also want to be a successful children's author and i want to travel again i want to be on the roster like there's so many things that i want to do i want to work with tims i want to like have awards and stuff like that i'm giving myself until 2024 to try and make this happen but what my biggest biggest dream and goal is really to be 
a art, a artist on um, Jerry Hill. That is again something I genuinely want for myself. And I want to go again under artistry development. I want to be like a J Cole prodigy. Uh, implement in the next two years. And but at least by the end of 2024. And then by the end of 2024, we're gonna actually review if I made some of the things that I already made. So, uh, and when you are manifesting, understand that you have to feel like you imagine it that you already have it and i'm pretty sure y'all hear this all the time but it's very important like when you are in your inner child creative state feel that energy don't have no doubts no nothing no nothing of that just you know have no evil eye bracelet just all the other stuff so yeah so also understand that these are just pictures okay that you put on a board it can't just come out of the sky and be like here you go you have to put in the work to manifest so that means that these little goals these these are big goals but the little goals matter to get to the bigger goals for example um let's say i'm about to do this makeup brand what do i have to do to do a makeup brand you have to do research and it takes time now please understand that that everything can come true by 2024. I have to put in work and you also have to understand that you have to spiritually get right before you can let anything spread. So if I want to do my children's successful Arthur book or whatever, I either one have to find an illustrator or two, I can actually take classes for art and do it myself. Will it take time? Yes, but you guys gotta understand being present in the now and staying grounded as much as you can to manifest this helps tremendously. So if you do not know how to ground yourself or be present in the moment, understand that today you have 24 hours. Tomorrow doesn't exist unless you do something with this 24 hours currently at this time. It's mad important to understand that now is important. Please don't start thinking about the future and you feel like you can't catch up. You have to have a plan today. Tomorrow doesn't exist. Right now is the time, okay? Create today. Don't wait till tomorrow, next week, create today. Even if it's just one hour of you doing that, it's fine. So for example, if I want to do my back, so if I'm doing my bachelor's and I'm not worried about the money, like everything is taken care of or whatever the case may be, what do you need to do? Set aside at least an hour or two just to get your work done. You can stay on top of the game if you are on a time management routine way. And I have a problem with this a lot. I used to have a problem with this all the time. Um, I used to be just spontaneous. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I do this. No, do it then and there. Start small things. Setting yourself up for a routine every day. It's okay to take breaks, you know, like a day where you don't have to be productive all the time, okay? Because there is such thing as toxic, produ toxic productivity. If you take time, and find ways to go into an art class even if it's just once a week take and once you learn something do at least like 30 minutes to an hour two hours of creating it will help you in the long run don't think about time because time really does take a lot and then on top of that age i know a lot of people my age they feel like they are wasting time or they're running out of time because they're not going they're not where they should be so yeah remember just to create balance work what's on on the inside so everything can exude understand when you are in a period of isolation uh, in that you are introverted or you don't have any friends right now you don't go out you work you do this and you are doing like youtube over and over and over again and you're not where you are needing to be stay consistent with what you're doing you it's okay to decompress go out when you feel like it but understand that you have a bigger mission in life okay so that means that what everybody else is doing you don't need to do it okay what everybody else is manifesting you're not manifesting people use escapism you are going into your world to fix what you need to okay does this make sense i hope it makes sense i pray to god it makes sense so that's how you manifest okay don't just be like oh yeah i want this 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 like are you even 
being grateful to God? Are you being grateful to Yahweh? Are you being grateful to the universe? Are you being present in the now to just, have I sat down with you and spoke with you? Like, have I really sat down and like really be like, I'm so grateful for this. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful that I'm able to have like a great job. I'm grateful to um, have the friends that I have and I only have a few. I don't, I need to have the right people around me in order for a lot, a lot of things to manifest. When I got rid of the wrong people, and I ended up getting the right people, it felt so surreal to the point that I was just like, wait a minute, this is about to happen. Like I have real people who really like see the vision of what I'm trying to do and it's crazy, it really is. So please be mindful of manifesting, please be mindful of who's around you, who shouldn't, who like who should be around you, who shouldn't be, evaluate and I guarantee you, your manifestations are going to start helping, especially when you work on yourself spiritually, okay? This is how you manifest, okay? And even you, don't let doubt, don't let fear get you, okay? And I'm not talking about everybody else's projection onto you saying that you're not good enough, you're not this. Everybody started out as a beginner to get to where they need to go. That's why I'm not afraid to sound terrible in my recording sessions that I record because of the simple fact that I working through a beginner stage and it's fine because a lot of people are be like oh I'm not good enough for this oh I'm not good enough for that it does not matter work now so you can sound better later okay all right so um hopefully that resonated with you guys I felt like I had to say that um don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see y'all in the next video um it's gonna be every sunday where i have a new video out all right